guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Speed Reno Fridays with me, the person who's gonna fix up this house. So this is called Sunken Suburban, it, Suburban, if I could, you know, speak right. And it is by Brit Simsey. And they write, uh, when it was first built, this house was considered the jewel of the neighborhood. However, things go out of style, and after decades of neglect neglectful owners and abandonment, this house has become what we see today. Please help return this house to its former glory. I will try. I will try. Let's take a look. Okay, guys, so here we have the house, and this is strange. Normally, I do... I look at a house, I put it in a lot, I start the renovation, then I do all this fly through before, fly through after thing after I finish renovating the house, but this time I'm doing it first. So I haven't even seen what this house looks like, aside from the fact that it is absolutely stunning, super gorgeous. Whoever built this is clearly more talented than I am, but what else is new? So we come up, we have cars, toilets, overgrown shrubbery, this weird spiky walkway, uh, trees, some graffiti I saw in the house, a potty out there, but overall beautiful house if you look past all this mess. I could see how it was the jewel of uh, the neighborhood. So you walk in and oh dear, these people have not been here for a while, but they prioritize and they have a wine rack. And that, that seems, that seems a bit odd to be put there. Uh, you have this little like uh, I guess it's part of a different room. Anyway, we'll go in here first. Bath. <laughs> that seems like it would cause some problems. Um, so we have a bathroom with no sink. Good. You come down this little walkway here. And you have the living room, which seems to have cacti in it. That seems normal. Up here we have... Ooh, okay. Uh, the kitchen, which is a nice, decent-sized kitchen. And this little, like, nook here. This little, like, creaky, creepy hallway... For like an office, I'm assuming that's what that was at some point. Um, so kitchen, and then you come. Oh, let's not let's not go up there. And you come in here, and we have the dining room. It seems so 70s to have like platforms and stuff like that. We're gonna skip over that platform, and we are gonna come in here. It isn't loading that great, probably because I haven't actually seen the house yet. Come in here, and we have a a bedroom. Just just a bedroom. SOS. Yes. This is indeed an SOS. Uh, so is this it for the downstairs? Yes? Okay, let's go upstairs to where everything's just loading in. There's fog? How is there fog? How does that work? How does... Okay, uh, it's uh, unfinished for sure. Uh, this room, kid's room, seems like a safety hazard. Got a broken ATM, as you do in a kid's room. Uh, this room is a room with a working ATM or is that a parking meter? That's a parking meter. It's not fair. I have to pay for parking here and a generous sized bathroom. Very generous. Uh, this is a girl's room. It looks like with a vent in the middle of the floor and another bathroom. Yes. Another generous sized bathroom, which I'm happy about. I like the generosity in the bathrooms. Uh, let's go downstairs. So I'm assuming the master bedroom is on the main floor, I'm a guess. I'm, I'm a guessing. I'm a guess. Uh, let's go out back here and see what we're working with. Just a plain backyard. Um, was there anything up upstairs or was that it? Was there anything here that I missed? No, that's the bathroom. Okay, I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. So we have a dark, dingy pool and some strawberry. All right, well, I can definitely work with this. Because uh, this is gorgeous, so I'm excited to renovate. Um, let's jump into that, shall we? Okay, guys, so we are starting off here. We're just deleting everything as per usual. Um, as far as the, like, design of this house, obviously I love it. What else is new? You guys are, like, a million times more talented than I am, and I'm a little upset about it, but not quite. Um, I gotta have something to renovate, right? Um, <laughs> anyway, I, the colors, again, ugh. Because this place was designed, obviously, by someone else and the rooms were different, it made painting the outside very hard because uh, in The Sims 4, it goes by room. It doesn't go by, like, <laughs> paint just the front of the house, paint just the side of the house, paint the back of the house kind of thing. So it was a little bit of a struggle. I end up with this sort of uh, brick bottom. I do change it around a bit. Uh, 
just kind of tweak it towards the end, I think. Or maybe I tweak it here. I don't really remember that much. Anyway, I tweak it. Um, as far as the inside of the house, I unfortunately have to delete most of the walls. Um, just because I really wanted to get rid of that sunken floor. That is so 70s. Um, no, I just, I wanted to get rid of it. I wanted to put in something different. So it does get quite the alteration. Um, other than that, I think the upstairs rooms, oh god, I, f I like, just fiddle, fiddle, is that a word? F f fidget? Fidget, that's the word, fiddle. <laughs> that's an instrument. Um, I fidget with the upstairs room so badly because I try so hard to create a, an extra room up there, but I just couldn't make it happen, so I made the rooms a little bit bigger, made the bathrooms a little bit smaller, because those were pretty big, pretty big bathrooms, um, so that is what I do there. Um, anyway, Today is Thursday, March 23rd. It's Friday, March 24th for you guys. Um, and you guys know how last week was supposed to be like my busiest week ever. I was wrong. Okay, it was busiest in terms of things due. This is just like I am just a big ball of stress at this point forever. I feel like this is never going to go away. So number one, I had that like skills evaluating thing for a job that I that I applied for and uh interviews were being conducted all this week and I thought for sure that they would have emailed me last Friday being like hey can you come in on this day uh, and so when I didn't hear from them all weekend and all of Monday and all of Tuesday I was like okay I'm, I'm clearly I didn't I'm not who they're looking for but then I get an email Tuesday night and they're like hey can you come in and on this day and I was like oh my god so I have that today for you guys tomorrow for me uh from 10 till 10 30 so by the time this goes live I'll be done but the one thing I'm stressed more than that about is that I'm supposed to like meet my partner because I have a presentation on Monday but he hasn't been e like answering my emails as per usual with my partners for some reason I get the really bad ones but like he'll answer me. He won't answer the entire email, but he'll answer part of it. And I was like, hey, so my email to him was, hey, do you want to split up the parts? I was thinking about doing this, this, and this, if you want to do this, this, and this. It takes him two and a half days to email me back. And he's like, yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm also going to add this if that's okay. And I was like, yeah, add whatever you want. I don't really care. And then I emailed him. It was like, in that same email where I divided the parts, I'm like, I'm free all day Friday if you want to meet up. Um, just let me know. And he was like, in his email, he was like, he didn't say yes to meeting up to Friday. He's just like, yeah, okay, I'm going to, I'll do that. I'll do those parts. And I'm also going to do this. I'm like, what about Friday though? So, and then I was emailing him and I was like, hey, there's also this part, which I forgot to mention. Do you want to cover that? Or do you want me to cover that? And he's like, no, you should cover that. And I'm like, I'm covering like at least 75% of the material here. Um, not that I really care that much. It's just reading off a piece of paper. But here, here's me fidgeting with the upstairs. Enjoy this. Um, anyway, so I was like, yeah, no, I can do that. Do you want to take over this part that I was going to do just because I think it fits better with his part anyway. And um, it's not a, it's not a big part at all. It's not a big part of this presentation. And he never emailed me back. So I have no idea for a meeting tomorrow. He hasn't added anything to the shared PowerPoint that I sent him. Um, I have done everything. I have done all of my part. I, that's all I'm doing at this point. I will not do his part. I will not show up on Monday and be like, I did everything. Can I just present by myself? If he doesn't show up and he doesn't do his part, that's his bad. Um, I can go up there if the teacher wants me to and present half a presentation, but I'm not stressing myself out to do his part. That's ridiculous. I am still stressed about it though, because that's a situation that I don't really want to be in. Um, but we'll see. I don't know if he's like going to email me again at 11 o'clock like he did last time and be like, yeah, we can meet up tomorrow. And I'll be like, okay, cool. He could have told me like, I don't know, three hours earlier when I was awake. So we'll see. Um, that's stressful. My interview is not super stressful, but it is still nerve wracking. It's nice to know that it's only going to be half an hour because the other thing was two and a half hours. That's what was stressing me out was like I had to be in that stressful situation for two and a half hours. So that was not fun. Um, but it went well, obviously, because they called me back. Hopefully I have a job for the summer. That would be amazing. And it's, it's kind of a full-time job, but not quite. It's got, it's not full-time hours, but it pays really well. So it'll make 
doing what I love, doing this, a lot easier. Uploading for you guys will be a lot easier and I won't have to, I won't have to worry about homework and partners and people. I can just be like, I go to work and that's it. I come home and it's, the rest of the day is mine, which I am so looking forward to. Also, also, shitty for everybody else who's still in my school because they are renovating one of the buildings and that building is the sociology building, which I've taken tons of sociology classes. I was going to do my minor in sociology, but it would have taken me extra time and I was so done. I did not want to do it. But they're renovating that building, so they're going to have to have classes on Saturday and Sundays in order to make up for the lack of space. And I'm just like, that sucks for everybody who is not me, because I am graduating on June 1st at 10 a.m. That's when I will be walking across the stage, and I will be so happy to be done. I'm just happy to not have to worry about homework anymore. And like, people don't understand how much stress school gives me, or anybody. It's just like, Oh, you have a job? Oh, that's nice. Here's a bunch of readings, a bunch of assignments, all do at the same time where you have to deal with people who don't answer your emails on top of having to go to work and earn a living to pay for things. And it's like, mm, gee, thanks. I really enjoy this. Not. Um, so, super excited. I have officially, as of today, actually, I have two weeks left. Um, I'm looking at my calendar trying to decipher yes I have two weeks left which is freaking phenomenal I cannot wait for those two weeks to be up and if I get this job I don't start until May so I have a little bit of time off in order to hopefully what I'm hoping to do is bulk up on recordings or just relax and sleep in occasionally and be like, oh, I have something to do. Oh, no, wait, no, I don't. <laughs> I can stay up late and wake up late and be lazy. Um, so that'll be fun. I just have to get through this. Basically, I just have to get through this weekend. Mm, yeah, this weekend's going to be super stressful for me, mainly because my partner's being a dick and because I have a paper due next Wednesday. Not a hard paper, nothing I'm like super concerned about, but just something that has to be done. So it's like, it's an extra, it's an added stress, I guess. It's like, I'm going to procrastinate it. I know it. Everybody knows it. It's me. It's what I do. So I'll procrastinate it and then stress about it later, I guess. that That's how I do my papers. Don't know how you guys do yours, but that's how I do mine. Um, don't follow my example. It leads to a lot of stress and not a lot of satisfaction because you're just like, what am I doing with my life at this point? Um, anyway, back to the house. I want to explain a few things. Um, the outside of this house, obviously beautiful because I didn't build it. The inside of the house was not my greatest work. I think it came out good. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. It just, I was in a bit of a rush to do this one because I had already done a renovation, <laughs> but like the idiot that I am, um, I had, I had a save file called Reno World, which is where I place all my renovations and do all my renovations. That got too full, so I deleted that and then created a new world, but I forgot to, uh, to, like, name that world. So I had a bunch of, like, random autosave files because The Sims autosaves everything. And I have backup files for all my Let's Plays and stuff and my Build New Crest, um, uh, world, but I didn't have anything labeled reno world, so I deleted all the auto saves. One of those auto saves being the house that I renoed, but hadn't yet saved into my gallery. So I didn't actually have the house to do the fly through or to do the like <laughs> to give you guys. So I was like, oh no. So I thought about redoing that house, but I was like, I didn't really like the way that house turned out anyway. So it's kind of like a blessing in disguise. So I decided to just go ahead and start over and do this house, which is why it's a bit of a rush for me. I still think it turned out really well. I think I'm just getting the, like I said, interior decorating is my thing. So like I can usually do it pretty fast because I'm like, I know exactly where everything is that I want to use in this. Um, I rediscovered shelves for the first time in The Sims 4. I always forget that those things exist. So yeah, so that's why it's a, it seems a little bit short. Um, it seems a little bit rushed. And I also hate that I made the master bedroom square eventually. It's just, oh, look, I got an achievement. <laughs> um, it's just the way that it had to go because of the bathroom. I realized I had a toddler room with no bathtub anywhere in the house. So I needed to put that into the master suite. 
So I had to change around the uh, bathroom a bit, which made the room square. I don't like having square rooms. I think they look too boring. Well, now that I think about it, my room <clears throat> here is actually square. It's like perfectly square. Although it does have like a bay window with like a ledge on it that I, I, I've been meaning to like sew something to make like a cushion for it so I can sit up there and do all of my reading that I do. That's also something I'm super excited to do after I graduate. It's just to have spare time to read because like when you're in high school or in university and you have all these like things you're supposed to read for school if you ever do any leisurely reading you feel super guilty about it because like I should I should be reading my assignments never once have never in my history of that's not true there was one specific class that was a uh, geology class that I did all of the assigned readings for that was because I knew that geology wasn't going to be my strong suit and I needed the class in order to get my degree so I did all the readings for that class, showed up to every one of that classes, did all the lab assignments, got a C plus, good enough. Um, that was actually probably one of my worst classes. Anyway, any other class I have never done all the readings for. I just, I don't find, I don't see a need for them, especially with history. It's a lot of papers and not a lot of tests. So you're not usually being tested on the material. Most history Courses that I've had that have had tests are all take-home exams or exams where they give you the questions beforehand because you're writing like a five-page essay in a short amount of time. Then you go back, find all the readings that you're supposed to do throughout the semester, read them all, do your essay, done. Honestly, if you do the readings while you're doing class, like during class time as per scheduled in the syllabus, you won't remember what that reading said in like six months when the uh when the test comes to so you might as well just save it for the end guys um don't let my professors know that I say that because <laughs> um a lot of professors will like give you the talk like you have to do all your weekly readings we discuss them all the time I'm gonna know if you didn't do them never have I once ever failed a class because I didn't do the readings nor have I even gotten bad in a class because I didn't do the readings um I usually how I find it goes with teachers or professors is that they'll say that they'll start a discussion one angsty kid will be like yeah I did the readings here's what I thought about them blah 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 and then um the other kids the professor will be like well what does everybody else think of this and you'll be like yoink I didn't do the readings but here's my valuable opinion that has nothing to do I don't have any quotes or anything but here's my opinion opinion based questions are the best because you don't need to do any readings for them because it's just what's in your brain so yeah that's usually what I do and that's what I've been doing for the past five years so I say I'm pretty good at it considering I'm getting my degree I found I found the steamboat guys the steamboat I know this house was originally built for little Simsy who does this challenge as well and she has a thing for steamboats Never really understood it. That's cool, though. She's got a thing for steamboats. I don't think I have a thing like that. I don't think there's, like, anything. Ooh, no, it's absolutely that uh, sailboat uh, wall decoration thing that I am obsessed with. I love it a lot, so <laughs> that's what I like. Um, anyway, oh, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Damn it. Uh, teachers, don't do the readings. They will ask opinion questions. Opinion questions are great. Opinions are awesome. Everybody has ones. Be respectful. Opinions aren't always going to correlate with yours. It's it's life, man. People aren't going to have the same opinion as you are. You aren't going to have the same opinion as others. No one's, like, right or wrong. Unless their opinions is, like, violence. Then they're wrong. But, like, you know. Anyway, this was a super fast renovation for such a big house. We are nearing, nearing the end here. Doing a little bit of Janelle's favorite thing to do, which is landscaping. I absolutely hate it. I suck at it in real life. I suck at it in The Sims. It just, it's never going to go away. I'm never going to get good at it. I tend to do as minimal as possible, so that's what I did. Then I realized I needed a bin and I needed some curtains, so I go back and add those as well. As per usual, I'm surprised I actually caught myself this time and put the curtains in. Those are the only curtains that fit with those windows. It annoys me because I use them literally every time I build, but they're the only curtains that fit. So I was like, what else am I supposed to use? That's what I use. Whatever. Enjoy it. We're going to do the fly-through now, so enjoy that, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. I like you a lot. 
Okay, guys, so we're going to go through the fly through here. <clears throat> As you see here, beautiful house on the outside. I take no credit because I wasn't built by me. But we are going to go through the front door, and as soon as you walk in, you are met by pretty much everything. Um, you are met by the living room. Over here is this nice wall with a bunch of pictures that I thoroughly enjoy. It is a generous size living room, which I'm super happy about because it means that we have toys and stuff for the kids in here, which is great. You come over here. It is pretty small, though, I will say. It's like small couch-wise. Seating-wise, it's pretty small. Over here, we have the dining room. And in this area, we have a ver very, very nice, <laughs> a very nice uh, kitchen and eating nook area which I think is quite elegant. And I also, guys, did you notice, if we go through the bookshelf here, that I use different stoves and different fridges. Usually I use the same ones, but I didn't. Um, over here we have the master bedroom, which is quite small, unfortunately. But honestly, I didn't put much into it. We have a closet. We have an ensuite here with a tub so that you can bathe the little ones. Yeah, I didn't put too much into this. I thought, mm, they'll be pretty busy with their children, with their, like, millions of children. Um, over here we have the toddler's room. I made it pretty general, new uh, gen general neutral, gender neutral. Uh, some yellows, some blues, some pinks, pretty much every color you could think of, I put in there. Uh, we have a nice reading nook over there as well. Not reading, computer nook. A uh, little art table with, look at that glitter and that Elmer's glue. I know what glue that is. I went to elementary school. Some whiteboard markers. Some paint brushes. I don't know why I'm getting into detail with that. Oh, I didn't even notice the paper on the side. Um, okay, upstairs we come to this landing where I have a science station. And just some other knickknacks and stuff. Uh, nothing too, too fancy. Kept it pretty small because I knew that I didn't want too much space. And here we have the boys' room. Everybody has their own bathroom aside from the toddler, which is pretty nice because you guys know me and my excessive bathroom needs. Um, I need to have multiple bathrooms in a house that has multiple sims. It just has to happen. Um, I see that plant is clipping. That's nice. Wait, where's that plant? Oh, ah, I see. Uh, here is the boys' bathroom. Nothing too, too fancy. Again, the bedroom's not too, too fancy because boys don't really need much. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I knew it was coming. I was trying to hold. I was hoping it would go away, but it didn't. Um, anyway, boys don't need much. They're pretty, pretty low-key, so... Over here, we have the teenage girls' room, which I think turned out again. It's just like, ah, what happened? No, how dare you? I'll fix that. Um, I'm, I'm better at designing teenage girls' rooms because I was a teenage girl not that long ago. So it's like, this is pretty, all of this space, all of this room for activities. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then, oh, I also gave her a little iPad there because she doesn't have a computer like her brother. She has a vanity instead. Um... Over here we have the girls' bathroom. Didn't do too much here either. Kept it pretty plain and simple. Um, and then across over here we have the little girls' room, which is pretty in pink. I, uh, why? <laughs> um, God damn it. Um, yeah, I'll fix all of that before I upload it, obviously. But anyway, pretty in pink. Lots and lots of pink. Um, here's the bathroom, pretty much identical to the other bathroom next door over here. Just made it easier for me and for you guys, because bathrooms don't take much effort, right? You're not spending a lot of time in the bathroom, so. And then if we go out through the kitchen, we have a door to the backyard, which has a lovely, um, <laughs> the word is coming, barbecue, barbecue, uh, seating area and a little table here. For the whole family to enjoy, I was able to squeeze in a little pool, which is fabulous, even though my sims never swim, ever. Um, and then, of course, the monkey bar is here, and that concludes the tour. We hope you enjoyed your stay. Please come again soon. Um, I'm just kidding. But please do come again soon. That is the house for you. I hope you enjoy it. I enjoyed renovating it. If you would like me to renovate one of your houses, you can use the hashtag NSGReno. That's NSGReno on the Sims 4 Gallery, and I'll make sure to look that up next time and hopefully renovate one of your houses because I know you guys are a hell of a lot more talented than I am, so I would like to see what you can do and cry about it. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you want to stay up to date on everything that I do, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss one of my videos, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye!